Hello. Oh god, it's happening. I've done a lot of girls makeup. I've been thinking about this makeup tutorial for a really long time. Why not slap Sarah Chang's name on this concert makeup video, how to look like Sarah Chang, from this to this, then just keep watching. So this isn't really a how to look like Sarah Chang video, it's just a black smoky eye, which she rocks all the time. This video is dedicated to Gigi Monachino. I did her makeup so many times. Make sure your face is clean. You have to moisturize and then let that dry out. I'm using this lotion by Nature Valley. First, prime your face. This is an e.l.f. primer. If you're one of those people who can survive without primer, you do you. You don't have to do it. It is nice to fill in your pores with primer so that you don't have a bunch of gunky makeup in your face. I'm a little unconventional. I like to start with my waterline, drag it down a lot, drag it underneath your eyelash. Always, always, always use a waterproof eyeliner for your waterline. I have like red circles above my eyes. So I like to put a little bit of concealer right here. Next step is your transition shade. I have a brown eyeshadow. Anything not too dark, but not too light. I really don't recommend that you go out and spend a bunch of money on brushes. There are so many affordable brushes. Everybody's like, oh, Morphe is so affordable, it's so cheap, but girl, all of that adds up. It's just a trend to have a Morphe brush. Really just save your money. Don't splurge on brushes like that. I know we look weird. And this is why everybody puts on foundation first. Have two different kinds. One that's really light black and one that's really dark. You use this as another transition black shade. And just put it, I'm Asian obviously, so I have mono lids. And this is why I love doing white girl's makeup or Gigi's makeup. She's half black and Italian. They have sunken lids and it's so nice to play with because it just has dimension. So let's talk about Sarah Chang. She's Korean, I'm Korean. We both grew up in Philadelphia. She has the most amazing dresses. She's so nice and humble. She's the reason I play violin and She's the reason I even wanted to keep playing violin. My mom showed me a CD called Simply Sarah and she was just so pretty and so talented. Okay, so this is a really interesting step. If you watch Desi Perkins' Black Smoky Eye tutorial, Jaclyn Hill, Carly Bible, Kathleen Lights, all of them do the same thing. They all have a base gel liner. This is like Jaclyn's favorite eyeliner. I really don't recommend getting an expensive one. I've used NARS gel pot for five years and it was like burning my eyes. You don't need to get high-end stuff. It's such a scam these days. Okay, now I look like a raccoon. Take the blackest black eyeshadow you could find. One way to really avoid fallout is to use one of these before you use a blending brush. Just pat it right above. This is to diffuse the harsh line. God, raccoon style. Now take your blending brush. This is a Wet n Wild. I have like 10 of them. They're highly recommended by Kathleen Light and a bunch of other makeup artists. So the secret to blending is doing circular motions and windshield wiper motions. Courtesy of Jaclyn Hill. Take a thin brush, as small as this. Take some of the brown eyeshadow, smoke out the bottom. Wipe away everything. Let's do our face. Okay, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but I actually don't use foundation or concealer anymore. I just think that it's for people who have a lot of acne problems. Maybe go ahead and do that, but when you have somewhat smooth skin, like I really don't recommend using so much foundation every day. I feel like it should be illegal to paint your face that often, but I really highly recommend just using powder foundations. For the sake of this video, I did use a little bit of concealer. I actually really like this, Born This Way. For my powder foundation, I use L'Oreal True Match, the center of your face. 
You can start contouring and bronzing. I have this Equate brush set that I found at Walmart. I love just all of them. They're really good. It's such a cheap brand, but nobody talks about it. I'm like, more people need to know about this brush set because it's so affordable. I'm taking my contour. This is by Smashbox. I just took out a bunch of pans from different makeups and then put it into this little thing. I just hate opening up so many palettes. It's such a waste of time. I actually think that you should contour right in your ear. I really don't like doing it right here because it just looks white right here. Have you noticed that? Like so many makeup artists do that. Okay, now I'm taking the bronzer, which is right here. Sarah Chang is like, she has such a nice bronzy tan. It's like my goddess. So I met Sarah Chang at Aspen last summer and she played the Carmen in this red dress. And I was hyperventilating when I met her. I can't. I can't. I gave her a card and a gift card to just show her how much like she means to me. Yeah. Literally, she made your mind. I wrote this for you. Are you serious? Thank yeah. you. That's so sweet. Have you heard her Sibelius? <laughs> Anybody heard or even seen like how amazing she is? You just can't argue with that. So I have a really wide face. I like to contour and bronze my face a lot more than the normal person. If you want to put on blush, if you don't want to put on blush, whatever. The softer your brush is, the lighter the application is. And I don't like putting on a load of blush. Either that or this, which is an e.l.f. highlighting brush. The application is super light. I used to use foundation a lot and I used the Morphe M439. It was amazing the first time I tried it. After like three, four days of using it, it started clumping up the brushes. But this, no matter how many times I use it, it's just a cheap one I got off of Amazon. It was in a set. I don't have to wash it for like months and it'll still apply really well. So I actually recommend something cheaper. Just pointing that out. I know highlighters are all over the place and it's just, God, it's like a whole nother industry. <laughs> I really recommend saving your money. Don't go out and get Becca highlighters or Anastasia highlighters. This is literally from Dollar Store. It is so blinding. Just like... <sighs> I think maybe the most blinding highlighter is probably Cover FX Enhancer Droppers. And yeah, I did splurge on it and I regret it because Kind of made a hole in my bank account, but you could even take a white eyeshadow and watch like this is just blinding. Drag it down to your cheeks, by the way. If you're gonna do inner corner stuff, use some water and then just dab it right there. Anastasia brow pencils are all the rage, but honestly, I like Korean eyebrow pencils, which are a really good dupe. It's on Amazon. The darker your eyeshadow, the darker you can go with your eyebrows, but don't go crazy. So many people doing their eyebrows like so thick. I'm like, why? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I was one of the culprits. I was also one of the victims, but I really recommend lining it really dark right underneath and then shaping it with a lighter color on top. Some people are blessed with amazing eyebrows and they just don't need to fill them in. This is a really light color. It's even lighter than this. I'm just gonna add some light underneath my eyes. And I recommend not doing it right underneath your eyes like drag it down or else you're just gonna have like this white cast right here curl your lashes this is by la cross it's the best 
the best eyelash curler I've ever used. And the thing I recommend with eyelash curlers is pump it a lot like this as you pull on your eyelid. But do it gently or else you're gonna rip your eyelashes out. Okay, so this is MAC Giga Black, but it's actually pretty amazing. Mascara is also one of those things that are actually good when they're just drugstore. There's so many good ones like L'Oreal, Telescopic, or Carbon Black, which are all recommended by Carly Bible and Jaclyn Hill. Okay, when it comes to lashes, and these are Ardell 108s, the really tiny baby ones. As I'm Asian, I can't use the ridiculous like Lily lashes, really big ones that are trending. Those protrude out of my face like that. This is Revlon's Lash Adhesive Glue. It's black and it's so good. I used to do it in the past, but it smelled like fish. So I really recommend this one. I got it off of Amazon. It's super affordable. Okay, the secret to putting on lashes is don't do it in a mirror like this and looking up like this. So you gotta use a, a tiny mirror and put it underneath your face like this. about Sarah Chang is that she always has lip liner on. This is in the color tiramisu. I like to do a nude lip because if your eyes are so bold, then you need to dim down everything else. Oh my gosh, this video is taking forever. But she doesn't do that much of a nude lip, so if you want, just put on like a darker gloss. How do I look? Can I be like Sarah Chang? If you want to set your face, use anything or you can use Morphe setting spray. It's so continuous and nice, like... It smells so good. has her hair up like this so why not am I getting a little close <laughs> 